it's uh oh, I gotta put on my glasses I can't see I'm sorry guys there we go it's uh you know my glasses I can't see what the heck is going on here oh it's peeling out the name is oh my goodness I can't even see the name because look what happened to the label you see anyways the red you see how pretty it is and it's spilled on the canvas already not good it's such a pretty red though look how gorgeous is that red can't wait to use it and i'm gonna use the, the white and it's gonna be the one from stone cold because i like the way it goes on the stone cold white this one see white base tint tint let me make sure i can open these because i don't want to be the last minute trying to open them now, first of all, this is a 16 by 20, so I need like 11 ounces, but I'm going to put more like 16 ounces, which is a pint. And uh, here we go. I don't like that that red went up there on the canvas, so it's not good. No bueno. So, uh, pour this in. probably frozen because it was left down here which I should have left it upstairs where it's warmer but uh it's coming out it's taking its time but it's coming out yeah the hardness usually takes longer to come out I mean the resin a little thicker and the hardener is a little softer watch how it comes out nice water not beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So here we go. Let me, um, God, I want to get that red off of the canvas because I just don't want it to mess up my painting. I wanted to do a white background. But that's not a good idea. So I went to concert yesterday. I see Frankie Valley in person. Live. Oh my God, that guy does not give up he looks so good still they're the skippy little old man but we all get old i grew up in those days the frankie valley supremes and all that stuff uh, look i made a bigger mess you like that uh, no bueno Put a primer here. I got primer too, but I don't know if it's gonna take long to apply or whatever. I'll leave it alone. That's it, just leave it alone. Okay, let's just stir this for two minutes and let me get my cups ready for my colors. I only need two cups because it's only blue and red that I want to mix. And the rest of the white is gonna go right in this big. had two cups instead of one cup. That's why it's like not so balanced. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that is perfect. I'm gonna put on my gloves. And uh, start spinning this stuff around. I should have put on a, my lab coat. Because I really don't want to get this stuff on me. But I might get too hot. Open the window. It's cold outside today. But it's good to keep the windows open so we get some air. Oh, I'm using the um, resin. It's good to keep the window open. lab coat so I don't get too much resin on my clothes. Here we go guys. So 
sorry I'm not talking so much. I uh, paying attention to what I'm doing right here. Just mixing the resin in front of you guys and stirring for like a two minute period. Because this is a stone cold, you don't have to stir it as long as the the art resin is different. you get all the edges guys it's really really good yeah and I still got a lot of resin what else do I have to resin I have to resin all of my little black and white geo once I get my little black stones to put on it and then I'll be done with that one I don't have anything else to resin so maybe I'll do a resin tour again sometime this week Maybe tomorrow, maybe today, if I get bored. More bored than I am right now, I don't know if I could be. <coughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me. I had a problem with the phone because like a dodo, I painted my phone. And some of the volume in the phone was going down. But now it's starting to clear up again. <clears throat> and so was the uh, the lens also. So I'll never do that again. Use, uh, paint my phone. Which I'm going to get ready to buy another new one anyway soon. We got a lot of new iPhones. And my husband said that the one I have is costing all the way up in the 750 and 800. I don't know if I want to buy a phone that expensive. Or should I just go buy a camera that I really need for this whole thing? All right, let me pour the white in here because the white is going to be the main, the base color for the background. Make sure you close these up right away. Make sure you wear your, your mask because these things do have an odor. And if you have allergies, you do not want to be near those odors, those fumes. Okay. This white is beautiful. Maybe a little thick, which is fine, a little thick. And now this one is going to be the red right here. This is like a reddish burgundy to me. That's what it looks like. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. It's not really a, a red red. Look, it's like a wine, wine color. So gorgeous. JR, you make some really nice paste. I love your paste. JR. That's just resin, in case you guys didn't know. Go order your just resin tints and paste. They have really good paste, really good stain, uh, stains. You know, I really like them a lot. This glue is finished, so I might as well finish it off. Throw it in the garbage. Uh, well, this around. This is a very nice, vibrant. It's a phthalo blue. This is what it said on the bottle. This color is by Golden. Nice blue. Yeah. I know it takes time to really get all these. Uh, Kind of marinated in. There we go. Here go the white. I'll pour the white. And it's a nice white from uh, Stone Cold. You know, it's a white tint. And it's a very nice white tint. I'm thinking of buying more from them because I've seen that they have some powders tints. So we'll see. 
as that turns out today. Let's see how this turns out today. Yeah. Get rid of that red, please. Please, please, sir. Oh, I got red all over my gloves. Wait, I got a fifty draw. I got red all over my gloves. That's no bueno. No bueno, guys. No bueno. So here we go. No red gloves. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I put I put tape underneath this canvas because I definitely don't want to sand down a big canvas. It takes time to sand them down. You should see me down here like a man sometimes sanding things down. I'm like Jesus Christ. to get all that paint covered, you know, that uh, red that got on this canvas. Let me see. Mm. Mm. It looks okay from here. This is going to change because I'm going to probably put some blue around this area, so that'll change. I'm not worried about that. So, uh, let's uh, see. Heat it up a little bit. See those bubbles? Right away I bursted them. You gotta burst those bubbles right away. Get rid of those bubbles right away. the blue I'm not sure how exactly I'm gonna do this um, how would I do this how would I spill the blue on this guys help me you're supposed to help me oh no did I get oh no I got red in my mouth okay okay don't get fussy Ange there was a little resin on my <laughs> on my jacket that's what it's here for Let's get a little resi glass. I gotta see a little. I like to see cells on some paintings, not all. Some of them I like them to be nice and smooth, you know, and not see any resi glass at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do what I do with my acrylics. I'm gonna try to do an open cup, guys. Let's see how that works. What do you think? Good idea or not a good idea? Uh, I'm going to start it from here where that big blotch of red is. Because I really hate that red now on my canvas. So you got to get rid of it. Get rid of that thing. Not a good idea. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to put in the red and the blue. And I'm going to try to do drag pour. 
with resin. How you like that? Never done it before, but there's always a first time for everything in life, right? Let's see how this works out. Let's see if it even moves. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I didn't think it would work. But it's working. Look at it. It opens up. Oh, it works with this. <laughs> Let's tilt it and see. As it moves around. Well, I think it's playing lazy now. Now it's just sitting there. I don't want to move. But you know what? I'm going to move it around. says you can't do a open cup pour on a resin pour. I could. You see? It worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mamita. Mamita, mamita. Yeah, little mamita, mamita. There we go. And now, we're going to have to go this way because I kind of slapped some over there. this corner only because this corner has a stain from the red that I had gotten on the canvas before. So let's just see. I guess you gotta glide it around a little bit. But look at that. Do you see all these cells guys? Gorgeous. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just let it go. Let's see if it works. It works. It works fabulous. A little bit, bit more that way. Let's do a little bit more this way. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get some of this red going up this way. Spread the red, why not? I like that red. It's such a pretty red. Isn't it, guys? I love it. I love that red. Well, that in the garbage because you can't save that. That's for sure. Now, here we go, guys. Who says you can't do a tilt cup with, I mean, a flip cup? Open cup. Well, there you go, living proof by Angela Saka. <laughs> I gotta get that back. I put it in the garbage and I need it back. Why does it keep going in the garbage in the end? This goes in. Ah, got all these uh, recycle bins here. This all came out. All turned out good down here. I'm not worried about this corner. So I can really see these areas that don't get covered. You could always cover them after, you know. I'm just look. Right? 
Hit it up with the, uh, as a matter of fact, let me go back here. Go back right over here. I got this right out of here. There you go, red, white, and blue. That's America for you. I love America. I was born and raised here, American, all the way. Yep. So all these corners look pretty good. I'm just going to hit it up with the gun. And I think I'm pretty much done, guys. Let's see how this turns out. We'll look at it maybe tomorrow or the next day. I'll hit it up a little bit. definitely don't like that area that's the area I messed up remember so when you mess up the area take care of it there you go over over and done with see taken care of <laughs> that was a fast fixer a great fixer here let me just I'm gonna turn this down I'm gonna I'm going to leave this like this. It's going to get some. Or maybe it won't. Maybe I should do this. Right? Now it will definitely get some stuff. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to give you a close up. And that was the flip cup. I mean, an open cup. Resin pour. There you go. And do an acrylic pour later on so it's going to be a black background I got to use I'm sorry I'm using my hand uh, it's just I got to make sure my hand touches the paint That reason so I could see where let me see on this side uh, let me get to this corner uh, I see one there. Let me, can I get that? Ninety-one percent alcohol on my finger right away and clean it off. So, so I'm not worried about my finger, guys.
something and I'll do another. Not a good teacher, Angela. Silly type of person. I like to feel things. I don't like to be duped. Oh, sorry for my hand. Alright, guys. I think this is it for today. And I was wondering, what am I going to do with red, white, and blue? But here you go. Got a nice picture here. Ooh, 28 minutes. It's a long time. There we go, that corner. Okay. This is an open cup pour. And I hope you guys like it. I really do like it. Got like a lot of red on this side. A lot of cells everywhere. It's a lot of cells. I think I gotta hit it one more time with the gun because I see a little bubbles that are coming up here. Here we go again. Yeah, there we go. That is beautiful. Okay. And this is tighten up a little bit not too long ago. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. So pretty. I'm happy with this one. I don't know what I would call this, but I think it's so gorgeous. Have a great uh, Saturday. Love you all. Bye.